All right, YouTube, it's your favorite chef, Chef G. I'm back in the kitchen. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I'm back. Um, I want to let you guys know I ain't forgot about you. Just keep watching the videos that are already uploaded, and I'll be uploading more soon. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a homemade cream of chicken um, soup. Okay, so here's what you're going to need some butter, have some flour all purpose you're going to need a pot to cook in a whisk and i have some homemade chicken stock all right so the first thing we need to do is get our butter in our pot to start um, melting so i'm gonna bring you guys down just a little bit because i'm gonna be going back and forth to that stove right over here Okay, so you may see my back every now and again, but it's okay. All right, so I'm going to start off with about a fourth a cup of butter. And this butter I'm cutting right now is frozen, so it's a little hard. All right. We're going to do make a roux first, equal parts. Fat and flour, I'm using butter as my fat. You can use whatever fat you want, bacon grease, um, chicken fat, um, oils, canola oil, olive oil, whatever you choose. And I'm gonna do equal parts uh, flour as well. So fourth cup, fourth cup. We're gonna put this on the stove. Okay, what you wanna do is you want that butter to melt. You don't want it to turn brown, just to melt. So don't melt it too fast. Then we're gonna shake in our flour and allow it to become thick. We're making a roux. We wanna make a blonde roux, a blonde roux. That's a light brown, light tan color. We're gonna cook it for, I'll say, between three to five, maybe six minutes um, total. Um, then we're gonna use that um, roux. We're gonna add some stock just until it thins out a little bit, and then we'll add some heavy cream, okay, um, to make it a cream of chicken, okay? I'm using chicken stock, so um, that's why it's called cream of chicken um, soup. And then we're gonna take this cream of chicken and make a broccoli, chicken broccoli and rice casserole. Real simple to do. I'm gonna throw it in the oven, I'll put the recipe for both down in the description below and um, you can make this at home basically it's just going to be put together in a um, you can use a casserole dish I'm just going to use an aluminum pan and I want to say this is like a 9 by 13 um, you can use your glass casserole dishes that you have or um, any casserole dish Dutch oven if you want to use Dutch oven to put this casserole in, to put it in the oven, okay? I'll have to make another video. We made apple dumplings today. Um, I'm actually in class, so we're live as I'm in class. We made apple dumplings. Those are in the oven cooking. So I'll have to um, do another video of those um, soon so you guys can see those. Um, but I'll show you the finished product when they come out the oven, okay? All right, so let me check my butter, make sure it's not browning. Okay, we're doing good. All right. Once you get up in here, y'all make sure y'all share the video. Okay, share it with everybody you know so people can pop on, see what Chef G in here doing, because y'all know I'll be in here cooking. Also, I want to tell you guys, go to my Facebook page, Regina Hargett on Facebook. There is a link, and I'll put the link in here as well um, in the description. Um, there's a link for um, the favorite chef, go vote for me. Cause y'all know what I be in here doing. And if you know me personally, you know my food is good. Um, so go vote for me um, for the favorite chef. I would greatly appreciate it. Um, follow me on TikTok at Regina Mentor, on TikTok, um, Instagram, Chef G14. Um, I got a Snapchat too, but I don't really be on Snapchat that much. Um, so you don't necessarily have to go there and follow me. But follow me Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok for sure. And also subscribe to the channel. Okay, I have reached my hundred 
um, subscriber mark. I'm reaching for um, next milestone 150 to 200. So y'all keep sharing the videos so I can keep getting those subscribers moving up. Okay, let me check this button. So you know with the live videos, um, things don't go as fast as the, the videos that I upload because this is live. When I'm uploading, I get to edit the videos so they're a lot shorter. I'm hoping not to keep you here too long so I don't lose your interest. But I'm going to get this um, roux going so we can make this crispy chicken really quick. four minutes just until it turns like a tan like I said color we're making a bomb room uh, then we'll add in our chicken stock we'll probably end up doing about um, maybe two to three cups maybe four at the max because I'm going to add cream to it so I don't want it to be too liquidy okay I want it to be the right consistency which is a nappe which means to coat the spoon okay that's what we're looking for for our final product of our Chicken. Make sure when you're making this, don't forget about it. Don't leave it on the stove too long by itself. You want to occasionally stir it so it doesn't burn. Okay, like I said, about three to four minutes is what we're looking for to cook with that. To make a homemade chicken stock, all you need is chicken bones. You can make a brown chicken stock or you can make a white chicken stock. The only difference is a brown chicken stock has roasted bones and the roasted vegetables, which are your mirepoix, and the white chicken stock does This was actually a white chicken stock, so it's lighter in color. That's why it's called white. Um, brown chicken stock will be darker in color, hence the word brown. Okay, this is a white chicken stock. Um, Mirepoix was carrots, onions, celery, 50% carrots, 25% uh, I'm sorry, 50% onion, 25% carrots, 25% celery. You need your bouquet garni, which are uh, black peppercorns, bay leaf, parsley stems, and fresh thyme. Okay, throw it all in the pot with the bones and let it do its thing. Y'all, excuse the ashy hands, but you know when you're working in the kitchen. You wash your hands a lot, so you pretend to become ashy over time, okay? So don't worry about that. Don't judge. You judge your mom, right? <laughs> That's what they say. But I'm going to check on my uh, room once again. Okay? At this point right now, I have a white room. Um, it's just been cooking for a couple minutes. Um, this is the room you can use to make um, a bechamel um, sauce, which is a mother sauce. I'm going to make a balute first, and then I'm going to add cream to it to make a cream of chicken. Okay, so a balute is a tan or a blonde roux with the addition of a stock. Okay, hopefully I'm teaching y'all something as I'm doing this live that you can um, use. Um, I'm a teacher by trade. That's what I do. Um, so when I'm making my videos, I always make sure to teach you guys something that you may not know. If you don't want to make your own, 
then by all means go to your local grocery store and you can buy a cream of chicken in the can it's a condensed soup um for this recipe that i'm making it's going to be um, enough for i would say four to six people so you'll need a, at least a um 15 ounce can up to a um 24 ounce can i would say the 15 ounce will be more than enough okay So my room is starting to turn colors. That's what I'm looking to do. Okay. It's automatically going to be like a little yellowish color because of the butter. You guys can see that. But I want it to be a little bit darker. Actually, I think, I think I'm ready for my stock. I'm going to add about three cups of stock to that and get it mixed in. Right. Just be mindful as you're adding in the stock, it's going to thicken. Okay? That's the purpose of a root. So make sure you slowly add it in and whisk as you're adding it. So I have my stock in. I'm going to allow this to come up to a um, simmer. And then I'll add in my cream. Alright, so I've got one person on here. I'm not sure. Okay, good morning, Anna. How are you? All right, y'all share the video, okay? When you get on anybody's video, if you like it, or you um, subscribe to the channel of that person, share their videos, okay? Doesn't cost anything to share, right? And sharing is caring. I appreciate every share that is done for my YouTube videos, okay? But like I said, yes, I, I've been gone for a while, but I'm back. Make sure, like I said, do not forget about your pot that you have on the stove because as this heat is cooking or adding heat to your pot, it's actually thickening up. All right, so I'm going to start adding in some cream now. And I'm going to go with about two cups of cream. So two cups of cream I'm adding to my pot. So I'm going to let that finish um, thickening up. We're looking for nappe consistency. Um, this recipe makes probably about 24 ounces, which is about um, three cups, a little over three. But it's actually going to make a little bit more, probably about four or five cups. Okay. So like I said, I'm allowing that to thicken. Um, I'm going to, I know some people probably say, Chef, you didn't put no seasoning in. I'm going to add the seasoning to my dish that I'm actually making, okay? Therefore, um, there will be seasoning in my dish, okay? I'm just going to wipe down a little bit. I got everything ready for my casserole, ready to go, okay? So I don't keep you out here too long. Let that cook for another minute or so, and then we'll be ready to um, get our casserole done. All right, so for the casserole, you're going to need some chicken. 
I'm using chicken breast. If you like chicken thighs better, use chicken thighs. Um, but I suggest that you use boneless chicken thighs, boneless skinless, will make the, um, be the best, okay? Um, you're gonna need broccoli. I'm using some fresh broccoli. So I have my bro broccoli, fresh broccoli washed, cut into small bite-sized pieces. If you don't wanna use fresh bro broccoli, you can use frozen. I would suggest um, a 12 to 16 ounce bag of frozen broccoli, all right? I have some freshly minced garlic. This is about three to four, I think it's four cloves. I have a diced onion. I know it's a little glare on there, but this is a diced onion. Um, a small to a medium diced onion is what you'll need. Um, I have, you know, regular rice, okay? If you don't want to use the regular rice, you can buy these. They have the chicken flavor, or you can get the chicken and broccoli flavor, okay? Just pour it in, do it, do it um, mix it in just like the other one. I'm going to use a combination of both, okay? The chef is like to do the extra stuff, okay? I have to check on my um, cream of chicken. All right. Um, of course, we have our salt and pepper. And I have some paprika, in which I'm going to put on my chicken that I have sitting in a little bit of olive oil right now. Um, I have some grated, freshly grated sharp cheddar cheese that I'm going to use to put on the top. Okay. And that's basically it besides the cream of chicken. Oh, you're going to need some extra stock. Okay. So make sure you have uh, extra stock available. If you make your own um, cream of chicken, make sure you have extra for your actual casserole. All right. So I have my cream of chicken ready. We have everything we need. Let me get one more thing. All right, use a little pan spray for your pan, your casserole dish, just so it'll make it a little bit easier for cleanup. And basically, I'm just gonna dump everything into my pan, except for my chicken. I'm going to season that and I'm going to sear it off um, just to get some color on it because I like caramelization on my uh, meat. Um, so I'm going to partially cook it, then I'm going to add it to my uh, casserole. Okay, so let's get that started first. We're going to do salt, pepper, and paprika on our chicken, which I have in some olive oil already. Okay. Salt here. All right. Salt, pepper. Be generous with your seasoning. You want your food to taste like something? I'll make sure to put measurements for you. Try, anyways. <laughs> and I'm got it in the olive oil just so. Um, my chicken will already be uh, lubricated without me adding more oil to my pan. Okay? So this oil that's already sitting in is what's going to uh, lubricate my pan when I get ready to sear off my chicken. And I'm not going to fully cook this. It's just going to be a partial cook. Okay? Our pan is nice and hot. Sitting up here, ready to go. Okay. And I'm using gas, and gas cooks pretty fast, so just be mindful of that.
and I'm gonna cook my chicken in stages. And then after I take out all my chicken, what I'm gonna do is add my broccoli and cook it just a little bit until it becomes a little bit more tender because fresh broccoli um, is a little bit, um, needs to be cooked a little bit more prior to mixing it in a casserole. All right. I'm gonna go grab the pear tongs. take this glove off and get rid of it because we don't need it anymore. Well, not right now. Like I said, I'm only partially cooking this chicken, not all the way. Just enough to get a little color on. Okay, then I'm going to take it out and assemble the rest of my um, fish. Make sure you hit that share button. Subscribe to the channel as well. So it doesn't take very long to sear this chicken. Um, a couple minutes on each side. We're not trying to cook it all the way. It's gonna finish cooking in the oven. All done with that. All right. All right, so I don't see any questions from nobody. If you ever have questions, suggestions, always comment in the video. Okay? I'm open for suggestions of what to make. Um and cook for you guys that you may want to see, okay? When we get ready to season our casserole, we want to make sure that um, you season to your liking. Okay, I'm putting my mask back on because my students are coming back in. Okay, they were on a little break. show you what the chicken should look like this is all it's still raw in the middle you're just going to put a little color on the outside is all i'm doing okay give that another minute on that side so now we're going to go ahead and start building our um, casserole in our dish all right I will, after I do my broccoli, but I'm going to go ahead and start this. So I have my rice. Just going to add that. This is about two cups of rice. And I'm going to go ahead and add this as well. Um, this is about another cup. And this adds in flavor because this is seasoned. Uh, um, this is seasoned rice. All right. Get that mixed up just a little bit. So my chicken is done. I'm gonna use the same pan and just saute my broccoli just a little bit. I'm not adding any seasons or anything because all of my seasoning is gonna go in my casserole. All right? So we'll let 
that kind of cook a little bit. All right. So I have about three cups of rice in here. So I'm going to use about, um, usually for rice, you want to do two to one ratio. But since this is going to have a cream of um, chicken in it, I'm not going to use as much because that is a liquid as well. So you got to account for that. All right. So we're going to go with um, four cups of um, stock and about one and a half cup of cream of chicken. Get our um, stock in our cup. All right, that's going to be one of the last things we put on. So our broccoli is ready. So we're gonna go ahead and start building our uh, casserole. So we're gonna go rice first. We're gonna add in our broccoli. And just kind of move it around to get it a little bit mixed in. When we add in our liquid, we'll move it around, um, mix it a little bit more, okay? Our onion. Okay, this onion is gonna cook in the dish as it's in the oven. All right. Our garlic. All right. We have our uh, salt and pepper. We have the rest of it, which we're going to add. And if it doesn't look like enough to you, add a little bit more to your dish. Okay, you're, you're eating this, do your salt and pepper to taste. Okay. one and a half cups of our cream of chicken. Okay, just drizzle that over. This is a half cup measuring cup, so I need three of these. And like I said, season to your liking. If you want to add a little bit, uh, you know, cayenne pepper to this, by all means, do what you want to do. Because who's going to eat it? You, right? So make it to your liking. All right. Clear out some dishes. All right. Let me let you guys see the casserole so far. All right. So I have my rice on the bottom. I added my broccoli, my onions, my garlic, and my cream of chicken. Now I'm going to go in and add my stock. And this is homemade stock. That little white stuff that you see is a little bit of um, fat from the chicken that was I used to make my stock. Okay. So I got three cups of stock here so far. So we have three cups of stock in here so far, right? My cheese close, so I'm gonna need it. So what you want to do is kind of go in here and mix. I'm taking a small spoon and I'm going in and mixing before I add the rest of my stock. Okay, we're gonna cover this with a piece of parchment paper and some plastic wrap and a piece of aluminum foil. And we're gonna put it in the oven covered and let it cook for about 30, 40 minutes. We'll check it. 
and see what we need to do. If we need to um, let it go a little longer, we will. But if we don't, we're going to uncover it, put our cheese on top, and put it back in the oven for another additional 10, maybe 15 minutes, or until your cheese is nice and bubbly and has caramelized. Okay. Actually, I'm just going to go with the three cups of stock, one and a half cups of my cream of chicken, um, because I think this is a more than enough liquid, plus you're going to have it covered, so it's going to make liquid in it as well um, as it's cooking and steaming, okay? I'm going to lay my chicken breast right over the top. And if you want to dice this up, you can. It's totally up to you. But if you leave them whole, it's easier for serving, so everybody gets a nice, their own nice chicken breast. All right? Slide that last one on in there. Okay? There's a little bit of liquid drippings. Don't, don't throw it away. Put it on in there. That's flavor. Okay? And we like flavor. So this is what you're looking at. We're gonna put a um, piece of parchment over it, plastic wrap, and a um, piece of aluminum foil, cook it for about 40 minutes, maybe 45. Check it, see if this, um, your liquid has absorbed. If it has, you'll add your cheese to the very top and let the cheese melt, get nice and bubbly, caramelized, and put it back in the oven. Garnish it with some, you know, parsley, something green, something nice, okay? But what I'll do is I'll be back with the final product. It won't be, it'll be a very short video for the final product, just so you guys can see it. We're going to plate it up, and we're going to taste it, okay? But this is um, chicken, broccoli, and rice casserole with um, a homemade cream of chicken soup. All right, until next time, guys. Y'all stay blessed. Keep sharing the videos, watching the videos. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know what Chef G is doing when she uploads new videos or goes live. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.